Hi everyone, Lindy here. I'm trying to get the glare off my... I put a piece of this glass thing down here and I really like it, but the light bulbs shine. Sorry, the last few videos were messy like that. Anyway, a dear friend on YouTube, Candy Tiggs, is having a f her first year anniversary on YouTube and she would like an artist trading card made. So I've been working all morning <laughs> making artist trading cards and really only got one done. So what I did is I started with just some chipboard, kind of thick chipboard, and a napkin. And then I used white embossing powder and a Raisin Boat stamp set called Hydrangea Bouquet. I really love hydrangeas and I can't wait until, well I love lilacs too and I can't wait until they all bloom. So I think the napkin had lilacs on it but it doesn't matter. They're still very pretty. Then I used white embossing powder and then I used twinkling, no I did not. I used this 3D stamp to color it in and I did use some twinkling HO you know, H2O's over here. Um, I, you know, this butterfly, I put another butterfly over top of it. That's a, I think it's a stamping up die cut. And let's see, it's I have Sizzix made for stamping up this one. It's been around a long time. And, but first I use some Lindy spray on the paper. And then I took my old book. This is that Immortal Lover book again. And Tim Holtz stamp and stamped it. This one right here with script on it. Then I took the flower pot like this and stamped that on there to make the flower pot. Then I just hand cut it out. And then that's what I used for here. Then I put some seed, seedless preserve around the edge and some bling and a little charm and some twine. Another thing I've noticed is I haven't been on camera very good. So hopefully I can correct that today. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you how I did this and it'll be in fast forward. So I'm just taking some 3D paint and this stuff dries really, really fast. Um, the color of this one is rose. Then this green I took some of this purple. Now this is the Twinkling H2. Then I took, and these you have to put a little water in them and then let them, and then kind of stir them up to get them flowing. So the more water, the more runny it is, which is what I want right now because I want to just kind of fill in this background a little bit. I love this teal color. She, on the back of the card, she wants you to put some information, and one of the things is your favorite color. And, you know, for a long time I thought burgundy was my favorite <laughs> color. And or maroon, that kind of color. And I, I do really like that color, but I really love teal right now. I think my color favorite changes a lot and often. <laughs> So I can't really say I have a favorite. You know, one color that I really, uh, and I just bought some, so I shouldn't say, is pink. Pink is a color I usually don't like, but I just bought a vest that's pink and some pink clothes, so I don't know. It's always changing. I just want this kind of watery. It's getting kind of dark on me.
I love the way this twinkling H2O and the napkin react to each other. I think that's really fun. So now I'm just cutting out the bases. Down here, like this. And I did take some of this blue, um, light blue metallic, and I really I watered it down. But I'm going to do that after I glue it on. And I forgot I went inside these hydrangeas with a little bit of green. don't have any like yellows, but I have this honey amber or this golden monarch. I want to go over the, I think the golden monarch, since they are butterflies. I'll try using this. These are, what are these? Oh boy, I think they're silks, I'm not sure. Then I took the crocodile and made two little holes on either side of the vase. And see, I haven't done the back yet, so I can put a ribbon or tie a bow through there. I could put a ribbon, but for some reason I wanted a cord. I don't know if you can see how that sparkles, but oh, it's really pretty. And I like to keep my ATCs kind of flat because I know a lot of people like to keep them in um, the baseball card and page protectors, I guess they're called. Then I have some little metal um, butterflies. This one has a dragonfly on it. And I'm just going to put that on here with this ultimate, crafter's ultimate glue. There, then I'm going to put a little bling on it. And oh, I got to put the butterfly on. I'm just going to put a little seedless preserve around this. And like I said, I, I sprayed the paper that I cut these out with with Lindy's, so these are all sparkly too. Splatter a little bit of paint. three-dimensional paint for the butterfly again. Mm -hmm. This is Seedless Preserves. And I'm using that because I have just something different. <laughs> Some of this bling. Okay, so now all I need to do is put my information on the back, which I've printed out on a piece of, you know, printer paper. And that's my artist trading card. Now I have two of them. I have to decide which one I'm going to send to her. And then um, for my journal page today, it's going to be this page. And... Um, so I put a different napkin on there, and I heat embossed these, and I'm going to basically do it the same way I did my artist trading cards. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Head on over to Candy's blog. She's just the sweetest thing, and she has a lot of great ideas, and help her celebrate her one year on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.